Little Duck Pyramid, where I rate my pet ducks from worst to best based on their behaviors last week. And at the bottom of our pyramid this week, we have Maple. Maple is the absolute worst. His mating behaviors have not gotten any better since last week. In fact, I would say they've actually gotten worse. If there's one kind of weather ducks don't like, it's wind because they have a harder time regulating their body temperature when the wind hits them and blows all their feathers that are keeping their body nice and warm. So this past week we had some really, really windy days. So the ducks did not get to go outside for those two days. And in those two days, Maple managed to leave a bald spot on Sugar's head. Now, luckily it's not that bad. It's just missing feathers, which is kind of like just missing hair. But obviously that's not great and we don't like that behavior. So bottom of the pyramid for Maple. I have had to shame him several times this past week, but unfortunately I cannot control the hormones of male ducks. So I'm doing the best I can. And moving on, we have Bubbles. Now you're probably not expecting to see Bubbles this low on the pyramid because she's such just an average duck as I always like to say. But this past week, she actually did something quite bad. So it was raining and the ducks were having a great time looking for worms. Everybody was going in all different directions. And I let them play out in the rain before I put them to bed. However, eventually the sun does set and they do need to go to bed. Bubbles did not want to go to bed. So she played her little game. So the ducks were in like three separate groups. Bubbles is in the first group. I'm like, okay, ducks, go to bed. They all start walking up into bed. Great. Bubbles flies over to group number two. That's fine, I'll get her in group number two. Group number two, go to bed, they all walk up. Bubbles flies over to Sugar and Mr. Whip, who are the farthest away, they're group number three. I get those two in bed, and Bubbles again runs farther into like the lawn and then goes back into the stream again, and I had to catch her and put her to bed by hand. That's not good behavior, Bubbles, and definitely unexpected from her. And next we have Donut. Donut actually has a similar story to Bubbles, but this happened this morning. So again, it was raining this morning. So the ducks were having a very good time trying to find worms, but unfortunately it was like 17 degrees last night. So there were no worms because the ground was still kind of frozen. Anyways, I get the ducks to go into the pen in separate groups. Normally they all go together, but when it's raining, they tend to just be all over the place. I get them all in except Donut. Donut did not want to go to the pen and she was willing to do anything she could think of to avoid having to go into that pen. So she would go to one side of the yard, she would go to the other, but what the thing that she was really good at doing is going into the stream. It's almost like she knows that my shoes were not waterproof, so I didn't want to go in and get her and get all muddy. So she almost won that one, but eventually I did catch her and get her into the pen. Lastly for this row, we have Sugar. Sugar is just so ungrateful. As I mentioned earlier, she's starting to go a little blob on her head because the male ducks absolutely favor her during mating season. But when these things happen, we take measures to protect her. So I've been putting her in her crate at night so that the male ducks can't bother her. And I am building her a sugar shack, which is going to be her own little personal paradise where she can be her introverted duck self, but still be around the other ducks. But not have to worry about them trying to mate with her. She's not grateful literally at all. I'm doing so much to keep her happy and she won't even let me pet her. I'm like, why? And to make matters worse, I'm not really sure if I can blame her for this one, but she tried to run away and not like actually run away. But the day when Bubbles would not go to bed, I had all the ducks out and they were all as I mentioned, everywhere because it was raining. And Sugar decided for some reason that instead of being a normal duck and looking for worms in the lawn, she was going to look for worms in the woods, which is fine, except like the woods are kind of dangerous. Like you never know what could be in there. Whereas when they're in the lawn, I'm like right by them. So nothing's gonna come over and try and harm them. So that's a little bit of a dangerous feat for her to do, especially her being her size and not being able to protect herself at all. So I would really appreciate it if in the future, Sugar, you stayed in the lawn. Leveling up, we have Chip. Chip is kind of upset with me because I had to clean out his enclosure, but that's not my fault, that's his fault. He was the one taking all of the bedding from the bedding side and moving it over to the sand side and making a huge mess. So I had no choice but to clean that side of his enclosure 
out. Unfortunately, that is where he had been sleeping, so he was not very pleased with that. But I can't have him constantly getting his bedding wet over there because then it becomes moldy and that's not good. So he's mad at me for disturbing his sleeping spot, but it was for the best. So we got to do what we got to do and Chip, you need to get over it. And up next we have Raven. Raven has improved her behavior slightly from last week. She hasn't been trying to avoid bedtime like she was the past two weeks, so that's pretty good for her, but she didn't really do anything too significant, so she's kind of our mid-duck of the week. And up next we have Avocado Toast. Avocado Toast has been getting along really well with Munchkin this past week. I'm still so glad that the two of them are friends. I'm glad that Toast is doing well. And I am very happy to announce that Toast actually 100% sure laid an egg. So I have been getting quite a few eggs recently, but I didn't know who was laying them. And I didn't want to say we were in the all clear with Toast until I knew for sure the egg I was getting was from her. Unfortunately, I have cameras on them 24 seven, but the ducks are so sneaky and they don't really move a lot when they're laying eggs. So it's hard to know for sure who laid an egg, but I caught her on camera laying an egg. So now I know with 100% certainty that she is passing eggs just fine and she's doing much, much better. So I'm very happy to tell you all that. And up next we have a very special guest. This is Cassie. Cassie is my pet cockatiel and she has made it here because she just turned 16 years old. So I actually share a birthday with Cassie because when I got her, we didn't know her actual birthday. And my six year old self was like, so we're gonna share a birthday. She was quite excited to get Millet for her sweet 16th birthday. And I am so lucky that I've had her in my life for 16 whole years. She may also be showing up on future pyramids. I'm not really sure yet. She doesn't really do too much that I can really rate like I do with the ducks, but um, I might have some special guests come on and she might be one of the ones that you guys see. Welcome to the club, Cassie. And up next, we have Mr. Whip. I am extremely proud of Mr. Whip because unlike Maple over here, he still has not shown any terribly horrible, aggressive mating season behaviors. In fact, he's actually doing quite a bit to try and protect Sugar whenever Maple tries to come near her. I've noticed that usually Sugar and Mr. Whip are kind of straying away from the rest of the ducks. And if Maple tries to come over, Mr. Whip will try and get in between them. Unfortunately, he's not really too good at actually preventing the interaction, but he does try. And that's very nice of him and a very respectful thing for a male duck to do, which is nice and refreshing because you don't usually see male ducks act like that, especially when it's mating season. And fingers crossed that he keeps up this behavior because as I've said before, apparently male ducks tend to get much calmer when they get older and they don't have all these aggressive mating behaviors. I haven't seen it happen, but that's what everybody tells me. <laughs> and at the top of our pyramid this week, we have Munchkin. As usual, Munchkin has done an absolutely quacktastic job doing all of her normal internet duck tasks of the week. She has filmed quite a few videos with me this past week and I always love when I can get her to just sit on my hand like this and film a video because I think it's just, it's just the perfect way to film a video about ducks holding her like this. And we actually filmed several videos like that this week so I was really happy that we were able to do that. She had a fantastic time trying to find worms this past week. She was never too annoying to try and get back into bed. She filmed a couple cameos and I'm just so lucky to have an amazing duck like her that is always doing things to get herself up top on this pyramid. And I forgot to mention she was also a really good friend to Toast, which I am just loving seeing their friendship evolve. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the Duck Pyramid. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.